good morning, afternoon, or evening, whichever one applies when you're watching this video. Okay, today I'm gonna be going through a mini lesson on sexual reproduction of vertebrates. No, it is not the sex talk that you're looking forward to, but you can always talk to your parents about that one. Today we're gonna talk about the three different strategies among vertebrates to reproduce and protect their offspring while they are in the way to, to mature and develop, okay? So let's start off with the definition of sexual reproduction, as you all know. This is the production of new living organism or the creating new living creature with the combination of two DNA from two different individuals, usually a male and a female. Now in invertebrates, as we learned in class, uh, we have a good portion of them that reproduce asexually or they make a clone of them, right? Invertebrates, majority of them actually combine their DNA. There's a male and there's a female and there's a whole process. In many species, there's coiling, you know, the process of mating and then the process of the development of the embryo, okay? Now, because vertebrates reproduce sexually, they do have to have a time to grow and mature and develop before they can do so. Now, vertebrates have three strategies. Let's start with the first one, oviparity, or what we say they are oviparous. These are the animals that lay eggs, okay? Now, it refers to the development of the embryo within, outside of the mother's womb. That means that that little baby is growing outside of the mom's body. Usually, uh, it is protected by a, a hard or a um, leathery shell that covers it. Now, this is the case for birds, for reptiles, and fish. Of course, depending, oh, and amphibians. Depending on what species we're talking about, birds, we have the hard egg, right? That hard surface that we all know and seen and have touched. That is for birds. In amphibians and reptiles, usually we have a leathery egg. It's, a, it's softer to the touch. And then in fish, we have soft eggs that are usually placed outside of the mom. In some cases, they keep the eggs inside their mouth and that parent is starting themselves until the uh, little fishies hatch out, okay? So depending on the species will be the type of egg that we have. And that is for oviparity. Animals that lay eggs as a strategy to reproduce or to protect their young, okay? Then we have the ovoviviparity or the ovoviviparis. Try saying that three times, okay? Ovoviviparity is the, it explains the development of the embryo inside an egg that is kept inside the mother's womb, okay? Or inside the mother's body, specifically. The egg remains inside the mother's body, and here I have a picture. This is typical of sharks, okay? Here in this picture, um, you can zoom in in your computer. You have, uh, an, this, this uh, shark was fished out, and you can see that she was pregnant at the time. Now, each egg accounts for an individual, okay? So she will have multiple eggs, but instead of laying the egg somewhere, she keeps them inside her body to protect it and to keep it safe from predators. Now, this is the case for some fish, like the shark, and some reptiles can do this as well, okay? Like ov oviparous, they lay an egg outside, Ovoviviparous, they lay an egg, but they keep it inside the body. Now, the third strategy is the one that applies to us humans. This is viviparity or viviparous for describing it. This refers to the development and nourishment of the embryo inside the mother's womb, not an egg at all, okay? Now, the birth may be followed by a period of parental care for the offspring. This reproductive strategy occurs in almost all mammals, including us humans, okay? Now, in this particular case, the embryo, it grows and develops and matures inside the mom, 
right? Once that embryo is coming out, it has a period where it has to continue to develop in utero. And for the majority of cases, because it's mammal, this, there's a time where the mom spends and dedicates time to help and train the young for them to survive when they are older. In some cases, once they reach that, what we will call the puberty stage, they are to be um, by themselves and they are you know, sent off. But in other cases, you have a community that develops in it. Okay? So, quick. Oviparous, they lay eggs. Ovoviviparous, they lay eggs, but they keep them inside the body. Viviparous, the baby is inside the body with no egg to protect because the mom itself is doing the protection. So that's your quick mini lesson for the three strategies in vertebrates. See you next time.